What's up everybody? Today is Tuesday and that means just one thing. It's finally time for my weekly Q&A. So, without further ado, let the, let's get this Q&A started Tuesday style. Alright everybody, I got six questions from six amazing people. I got a lot of questions this week, so if I didn't get your questions answered, I apologize. So, we'll start off with question number one. Question number one comes from PDD. Question for Tuesday. Is it more important for you to be accepted by others by discounting the truth or to be technically correct, which may undermine your friendships? Uh, this is the thing, PDD, and for everybody out there watching, it's very important that we all have friends. I'm not denying that. But the thing is, is who is a friend? Who is a true friend if you cannot speak the truth to them? In my opinion, if the truth is the truth, then it's meant to be said. I don't care if it hurts you, I don't care. If somebody walked up to me and said, hey, you're a fat piece of shit. Get your app control. You know, look, I'm fat. I get it. I get told every day. The thing is, it's the truth, and I respect that. If somebody came up to me and said, hey, dude, you're looking skinny today. No, I'm not. I gained two pounds. You know, so the thing is, is in the end, no matter what, the truth shall, shall set us free. All right, PDD? So that's just, just how it is. Uh, so, let the truth set us free. Next question comes from our man, Michael Gamsby. We all have them, but who are your celebrity crushes? They have to be someone that everybody knows. And you can have a male and female counterpart. Mine are Channing Tatum and Sophia Brush. Alright, so everybody go search for look up Michael Gansby. He vlogs as well. But let me start off with celebrity crushes, okay? So, to me, age is not that important. It's, it's important, like I don't want somebody that's 50, 60 years old. So I'm gonna start off with my female celebrity crush. It has always been, and will always forever be, Celine Dion. I love Celine Dion so much. Like, I've never been able to see her live, and before I went to uh, accepting my offer to go to Tracy, California, I actually had the money saved up. I was either going to deny the offer and stay in Kansas, but go see Celine Dion, or not see Celine Dion and take the offer in California and use the money I saved up for the travel expenses. Obviously, you know which ones I took. So, Celine Dion, you have a place in my heart right here. And one day I hope I get to see you. Uh, as far as a male crush, now, everybody should know about this individual. At least I did when I was younger. And to this day, there's still that little crush. And it's Aaron Carter. I have always, always, he was so beautiful whenever he was younger. Like 16, 17, 18, because he's the same age as me now. He's almost 30 years old or he's over 30. And so he's kind of like, you know, he still has the, the younger look to him, but oh my God, I love Aaron Carter. Do you want to be my boyfriend, Aaron? Because we can have some super sexy babies. If you know what I mean? Anyways, Michael, that's a great question. Now you got my mind in a place that it shouldn't be in. Well, thank you, Michael. All right, next question comes from a longtime viewer Finally good to hear back from her. I love her so much. Her name is Sarah Sin. Go to that search bar up there and type in Sarah Sin and go look at her channels. She's a pretty amazing person. She has grown so much since I've first seen her. What is the most awesome place you would love to visit outside the USA? Keep it up. So outside the USA, um, I've already visited Mexico. And that's like a like my individual that I want in life, like my sexual partner, my partner in life is a Latino. I want him to be a Latino. I love my Latinos. Um, 
Actually, my my like dream guy is Ivan Garcias. Um, he's a 10 meter diver uh, for the Mexican Olympia or Olympics team. It's kind of bad whenever you're watching the Olympics and the person you want to win is actually from a different country. But anyways, Ivan Garcia, if you ever come by this channel, just know you got a fan and a lover. But, um, anyways, so let's get out of. Thank you. See, Michael, look where you put my mind. Way to go. Anyway, so uh, actually I've never been to England. Um, I want to go to England because my second favorite diver is Tom Daly. Um, I want to go see him um, and go watch him actually like, you know, practice or actually dive. Um, and I've always just wanted to meet the English people. I think it's, I think they're so awesome. And I just want to be able to meet the culture and have fun and, and, and enjoy, you know, something new. And so, Sarah, England it is, and England it shall remain. Great question, thank you so much. All right, next question comes from my man, Chico Bangalar. What are your future plans for your channel? And keep up the great work, sir. Well, Chico, uh, so, you know, most YouTubers do this for fun. I do it for fun, okay? However, I've turned my YouTube into a business. Television Studios, LLC. So I'm gonna be taking my vision for the business and growing it um, in a sense of, you know, like actually having the business. So Tilly Vision goes everywhere I go. You know, Amazon is the one funding it because I work from Amazon. L let me rephrase that because people might think I'm being sponsored by Amazon. I work at Amazon. So Tilly Vision is second because I get more money from Amazon, obviously. I work there. Amazon does not sponsor me, so let's not think about that. That that will take me down a road I don't want to go. But um, in the, my future, you know, I'm, I'm still growing. I've only been around since September 16th or September 14th or something around in there. So I'm still new. But this year, we're going to VidCon. This year, I'm going all across America to visit my friends, my subscribers, my future subscribers, my future followers, my followers on Twitter. This year is going to be super amazing. And it starts in April when I head back to Kansas to have a, a meetup with some of my friends and subscribers and attending some other stuff. But then two months later, going to VidCon where I get to meet the majority of you guys. And then I'm also considering uh, going to LA again later this year. Uh, we have a vlogger fair here in Seattle where I get to meet some more of you guys. That's the future, boy. Being able to meet all of you guys. Good question, Chico. All right, so if I don't answer this question, this guy literally told me on Twitter, if you don't answer this, I'm hunting you down. <laughs> so, all right, so here it is from Lethal Bacon. You can follow him on Twitter at Lethal Bacon. He also put his YouTube channel in there, so go watch him at youtube.com slash Commander Destro. All right. So do you prefer tacos or quesadillas? If neither, what's your favorite food and drink? So I love Mexican food, obviously like, I like Mexican, you know, food and Mexican inside me. Wait, Michael, where'd you put my head, Michael? All right, tacos or quesadillas? All right, so quesadilla or a taco. The thing is, is every time I think of a taco, now I'll eat tacos. But I don't eat the taco that the straight men love. No way. No puss. I mean, tacos for me. Uh, anyway, so uh, quesadillas. I'll take a steak quesadilla over a taco any day of the week. Uh, quesadillas fill me up more. Tacos looks too much like pussy. I mean, tacos are nasty. <laughs> All right, anyways, quesadillas, lethal bacon. Uh, I love Mexican food, love quesadillas. Uh, tacos just doesn't fill me up and you have to buy so many of them and you know, A, I don't have the money, B, I'm already fat, so let's just take the little, little bit of the two. So it's a great question. Uh, guys, go follow this guy on Twitter, go watch him on, on YouTube, he's a good guy. All right, we'll end off with our main event question. It's from Josh Samuel. Let me give you a little story about Josh. You know, Josh wants to have a YouTube channel and he's not allowed to have one right now. 
So he's actually found a way where he can post 30 second videos on Twitter. And these videos in the first 30 seconds, like in the 30 seconds that he has, has some of the best content that I've ever seen. You know, you can compare him, in my opinion, this is my opinion, but you can compare him as far as like a 30 second uh, Twitter video to a 12 minute Joey Garcefa or a Connor Franta or a PewDiePie video. You know, like I have so much excitement looking at that 30 second video than I do actually like looking at a full blown vlog. So Josh, like every week you amaze me. Keep up, everybody, right now. Pause this vlog, go follow Josh Samuel at Joshy underscore Sam at Twitter. Watch his 30 second videos. I, I'm very proud of Josh and uh, keep up the good work. All right, and he says, hey buddy, who is your favorite president and why? So this is where, you know, most people either is gonna to subscribe to me or unsubscribe whenever I say this, okay? So I'm gonna be very transparent and let you guys know because I'm not ashamed of who I wanna win. I have my reasonings. Everybody has their reasonings, all right? I am a Republican and it's very rare because I'm gay and I'm a Republican, all right? But this is what I do know. I do not want Ted Cruz as president. You know, he did yesterday win the Iowa caucus. All right, but the thing is, it's when he gave his speech, I was like, okay, oh well, cool, he won. But he gave his speech and he was like, given scriptures of, you know, the Bible and may God set us free. Like, no. I already know that if we get this guy into the White House, it's gonna be a freaking pastor that's trying to preach to us every single day of the week. And no, I don't want a president that's going to teach me religion. I want a president in there that's going to kick some fucking ass. And that is why I want Donald Trump. You know, A, yeah, he's a religious guy, but he doesn't push it on anybody, right? It just, it's the thought of knowing, not the thought of forcing it on somebody. And that's where Ted Cruz is going. So, you know, Donald Trump, billionaire. Ted Cruz, donations, right? So off of that sense, I want Donald Trump in the White House. There's no real other option except uh, Marco Rubio, which, meh, you know, he's a good vice president. Marco Rubio, vice president, guaranteed, up and down. Ted Cruz, kick that motherfucker out the door. I want it to be Donald Trump and Marco Rubio, president, vice president, okay? But let's look at the uh, Democratic side. You have Hillary Clinton that is actually, you know, going, uh, being investigated by the FBI because she literally took several emails, but 12 that were flagged as top secret, the highest confidentiality you can have in the United States government, all right? And she willingly and without any repercussions sent that stuff to our enemies on a personal server so that nobody would know. Who wants that in the White House? It's Bernie Sanders on the Democrat side all the way through. I don't even want fucking Hillary Clinton as the vice president of the United States. You know where exactly where I want her? She's no better than those fucking terrorists, if you ask me, because she went and she got people killed because she took 12 high, or I'm sorry, 12 top secret emails and sent them to our enemies. Nope, fuck her. I, I hope that people realize that, you know, yeah, you can vote for her, but love, don't vote for her because she's a girl and you want the first girl president ever. Like, don't do that. Or you're going to have a lot more illegal shit happening later. But anyways, Josh, that's a good question. Politics is something I could talk about forever. Um, I love politics, uh, but the thing is, is this is what I want. I'll say it again. Donald Trump, president. Marco Rubio, Vice President. If it's a Republican uh, win, if it's a Democratic win, I want Sanders President and anybody else besides the fuck Hillary Clinton as, as Vice President. But anyways, guys, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Remember, if you want to be featured in one of my videos, take your questions, put them in the comment section below. Let me tell you something, I make sure that you're a subscriber to my channel because then you get top priority. So subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and let's get you a shout out. All right guys, don't forget to like, 
share, subscribe, follow on everything. That's it.